I'm not getting into the past history of slums where I feel that housing has been addressed as the issue and at the end of the day we wound up creating vertical or concrete slums and the overall sustainability has not been achieved, including in my opinion the present SRA rules which allow for housing but which do not account for the other uh, requirements which is the, the sustainability uh, issues which I will I'll, uh, bring. I think we'll, we'll bring the slide straight to uh, uh, just, just move fast so that I have uh, more time on the... Mm. Yeah, this is the way the present slum scheme is being implemented throughout Mumbai and which is definitely going to create vertical slums in my opinion. If you have almost uh, 1 lakh and 50,000 or 150,000 or 200,000 homes being built like this and this is in Dharavi. Fortunately, the government has decided not to go ahead with this kind of development anymore. Don't go that fast. Uh, go, go back one slide, please. Detailed plane table surveys have been uh, undertaken and which demonstrates the next slide. How many homes are above 225? How many, uh, uh, 225 is, is like the magic number because the government says that they'll give only 225 square feet space to, to the slum dwellers. So we've defined how many fall within that, how many are higher, how many are lower, etc. To understand the complexity again. And this is the encroached, uh, the, the, the hatch line that you see is the encroached portion which is all slums. And you'll find that even uh, areas which were originally reserved for uh, gardens, playgrounds, etc., are all still encroached and there's a negligible amount of space open left. Move. And right now the existing conditions is per capita is, is uh, 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 as you see in white, for buildable reservations and un unbuildable reservations. And you'll find that the blue is what we are proposing, which is significantly higher per capita than what exists already. We'll move on. Yeah, move on. Move on. Now we proposed Instead, a master plan. We have limitations because we cannot get rid of the existing structures. We have to retain whatever were the existing reservations. Then uh, the, uh, we have to also ensure that we do not move slum dwellers from one sector to another. So there are a lot of interactions that we took which brought about the limitations. And finally, we arrived at the plan where essentially we are saying sustainability to us is providing high quality of facilities for health, for income, for knowledge, for environment, and for socio-cultural development, and we've coined the word called hikes for all of this five. And we are essentially saying that mainstream people and slum dwellers must share these uh, amenities so that at some point of time, the most important thing is we have to integrate slum dwellers with mainstream. Uh, as, as I feel that we've been fortunate, I've been fortunate. Move on, please. We find that in this, it's a win-win for all because the slum dwellers get better quality housing with high quality of infrastructure. The government gets all of this for free. And in fact, the developer pays. Apart from that, the government will also get a premium for the first time in slum projects. So a liability has been converted into an asset and future taxes, etc. The citizens now get a brand new suburb which they have not been uh, able to use. Service providers, we are, we are bringing in public-private partnership even in service providers. Political leadership obviously benefits because their vote bank remains intact and the developers benefit because they have a ready-made project uh, in that. So unless you have a win-win situation, projects I don't believe can take off. We have been accused of not providing enough information. This is the kind of 16 different agencies that we've had to get our project vetted through. And I wish I could have described this in detail. And these are the kind of pamphlets, 60,000 of these, five, uh, uh, 500 of these, and about 30, 40 of these posters have been distributed, and more than 200 meetings within Dharavi with the slum dwellers to interact uh, uh, with them. And of course, the international and the local media has uh, played a vital role in uh, not only informing the local people, but also the international community. And the project st status is that uh, we're ready to go, we are finally uh, uh, we have the final shortlisting of 26 
bidders which might further get shortlisted and within a week or 10 days that will be clear. And we have major service partners in doctors, in educators, in uh, 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 businessmen. Uh, this is going to be the first eco-housing criteria suburb uh, in India uh, working closely with USAID, uh, cultural complexes, etc. The most important thing is mainstream people and slum dwellers will be using similar facilities uh, side by side where the slum dwellers will not be paying for it and the mainstream people will in fact be paying for it. I wish I had more time. Thank you.